Greetings, everyone. Well, I had an angel come to me yesterday morning, and I haven't seen her for oh, almost two years. She came to me in uh, April of 2020, and I just haven't seen her since then. But her name means carrier of unconditional love. It also means keeper of the mysteries of love. And I feel this time when she came to me, she didn't say anything. Last time she told me it's time to move on. This time she didn't say anything, but it's what she did and where she took me that I feel is interesting and I wanna share with you. Uh, she took me to a stream of water. I was like, we were standing at this edge of the stream of water. And at first the water was just clear. And, uh, and I noticed it was moving uh, upstream, okay? And then suddenly there were these beautiful leaves. I'm gonna say on the water, not necessarily in the water, but on the water, on the surface of the water. And they were beautiful gold and red colored leaves. Uh, I believe there were some green leaves also. Kind of reminds me of this shirt I have on today. Uh, but they were moving, you know, on this water. And then she took my hand and we walked across the water. And as we did, um, I coming into view were these grapes on the vines. There was, it was just clusters as far as I could see. And they were different colors of grapes. We had green, we had the purple and the red. And you could take from each one of them. These were like the size of a, a large, very large plum. And as you could bite into them, they were just as succulent and juicy, tasty as I've ever, it was something like I've never tasted before, to be honest with you. So, uh, but you know, it's like this water it, it was a supernatural water. I believe it was really liquid love. I've experienced this before and it wasn't really like water. It was like this liquid love. So we tasted, we tasted or I tasted these grapes. And then we moved upstream. It was kind of interesting, but upstream was a warehouse or a storehouse. Now I want to read to you though, what, what the Lord said about these grapes about the vines. John 15, one through five, I believe. He said, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bear much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Now, you see, I believe that what I saw on these vines these are the ones who have sold out to the Lord. These are the ones ha who have already been pruned and they are bearing much fruit, much succulent fruit. And, you know, we've allowed the Lord to just do business with us, okay? He abides in us, we abide in him. The Father's in the Lord and, and they reside in me. As we moved upstream, here was this big storehouse and inside were these incredible uh, bottles of wine, okay? And it was like the finest wine. This was a vintage wine. It was the finest wine. It's what the Lord has reserved for such a time as this. And she tilted a bottle and gave me a little taste and I've never tasted anything like this before. Then she reached over and picked up another one 
gave me a little taste. You know, it wasn't like you're, I, I know they have these tasting parties. I've never gone to one, but I know they have them. But I guess it would be something like that, although I didn't even have a, a, a glass to drink from. It's just the taste that I had. Now, I will say this, I could see the enemy in a distance and he had his eye on this fine wine, but he was in a distance. And I think, you know, we, we are at that place that we must be on guard always. We must protect the fruit of this vine. And I feel that everything is coming into a place right now as the uh, harvest, I feel that those grapes, the ones that I saw, these are the harvesters. And this is the fine wine that's preserved. So we're in that time of great harvest. We are about to reap the greatest harvest ever. So let's stay on guard of what the enemy is trying to do, but let's not take us take our eyes off of the true vine, okay? And just know that there's great fruit, not grape, <laughs> they are grapes, but it's the fruit from the grape that is coming forth and being poured out in this season, okay? So uh, I feel those grapes speak of the harvest of those who have been harvesting and they have produced great fruit, plentiful fruit, all right? And the best is being waited. You know, the best was being saved, like the, the wedding at Cana. The, uh, the best wine was being saved for last, and it's being poured out abundantly. Okay, well, I hope to see my angel again. If you don't believe in angels, you need to. Uh, it's nice if they give you their name because you can always look to see what their name means. Um, I know that this one, her name also means a star of hope in darkness. So we are in a dark time in the, not just in our nation, but in the world. But let's keep our eyes on the light of the world and walk forward as we are light. As he is light, we are light in this world. So let's walk forward in his light and in, in his likeness. In Jesus' name, amen.